Hello, my name is Joshua, and today I'm going to show you how to open a new account at the Entrust Group. So there are two ways to go about it. First way is if you've never opened an account before, what you want to do is go to our website, theentrustgroup.com. From here, you want to click Open an Account. From here, scroll down, click Open My Account Now. And then on this page, you want to enter the email address and click on Next. It's going to send you a six-digit code to your email, and you're going to enter that code on our website and continue the process of opening the account. You'll just enter your basic information, the type of account you want to open, et cetera. So that's the first way to go about it. If you already have an account and you want to open another account, you just want to go ahead and log into your online portal. And then on this page, you want to locate the quick links box right here and click open new account. You want to confirm all the information is correct here. Everything should be pre-populated. So let's go ahead and just finish this up. Make sure all the fields with the red star next to them are completed. Then you want to upload a government issued ID, such as a driver's license or a passport. Click next, select the account you want to open, select which asset you want to invest into, select how you're going to fund the account, add your beneficiaries. You can also do this later. Click next. This is a breakdown of the fees. So basically if you invest into one asset that's worth $50,000 or less, then you will be paying $199 a year. We do charge on a quarterly basis. So you'll see that fee every three months, $49.75. If you make an investment over $50,000, then it will be $199 annually plus 0.15% of the total asset value over $50,000. This does not include any cash in the account. If you invest into two or more assets, it's $299 annually plus 0.15% of the total asset value over 50,000 as well. Keep in mind that this is gonna be based on each asset. It actually lists an example right here. So if one asset is 150,000 and another asset is 12,000, then you would incur the fee of 299 plus 0.15% of the 100 grand because it's 150, so it's over the $50,000 totaling to 449 annually. And again, we charge that in a, in a quarterly basis and we cap at 2299 per year. You also have a breakdown of all the transaction fees here and um, you can read the account adoption agreement, account fee agreement as well. And you can actually click here and download the custodial account agreement and disclosure. So once you're done, just click on the check, click next. And from here, you want to decide how you want to pay the $50 account establishment fee and how you want to pay the record keeping and transaction fees as well. Click next. And here you just want to make sure all the information you entered is correct. And you can actually print this for your records as well, just by clicking that. Scroll down, click submit. And there you go. The application has been successfully submitted. Compliance will go ahead and review it in one to two business days and do the final approval or uh, we will reach out if we need anything else. Also keep in mind, there is a seven day revocation period in which we cannot send funds in seven days after you open the account. Once those seven days pass, then we can go ahead and send funds. Now you can still submit a transfer or rollover request and add funds to this account. And that is how you open a new account. I hope this helps. Thank you.